Green Lake, Green Lake, Green Lake. Be nice, huh? Did someone forget to tell me that we are having a guest tonight? It wasn't my idea. And yet you went right for the good sheets. Well, I, I could put them back. We could have a girls' night in your room. Okay. Listen, I have already dealt with one troublemaker today. This really is all that I can take. I told you this was a mistake. It doesn't have to be a mistake. Look, I just thought that... You I'd just thought that you would like to protect your daughter from the media, so whose building has better security than mine? Is that right, sweetheart? I wasn't going to spring it on you. I was about to call. In Look, Greenlee, am I right in assuming that you hate being here as much as I hate having you? Actually, um... I owe you an apology. Well, maybe we should alert the media. Give me a break. I'm trying. You know what? This is a bad idea. I'll just go find someplace. No, 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 no. No, no. Stay. Apparently, this is very important to your father, which makes it then sort of important to me. Sort of? Give me a break. I'm trying. Okay. So can I leave you two ladies alone long enough to make a phone call, do you suppose? Hurry. Yeah. Oh, sure. Okay. Thanks. You're calling Ryan? I told you to keep him out of this. You were calling him behind my back? Would someone please fill me in? Either my lawyer isn't listening or my father isn't. One way or another, it ends now. Let's go. What are you doing here? You made that me in the back way. Just because you work for JR doesn't mean you can just show up here and hang out in my room and whatever. It, what's your problem? My boys are just putting a vice by Erica Kane. Erica? Why? Who knows? She's tough, though. Got all up in my face trying to convince me that something was true when I know that it's not. Convince you of what? <laughs> I don't even remember. It's just crazy to have this person you see on TV suddenly turning the screws on you. Well, maybe she can come do the same thing to JR. You're in a good mood. What's up? More family stuff? Yeah. I mean, just when I thought things couldn't get worse. Surprise. They do. I mean, how is that even possible? I'm sorry things are rough right now. But maybe it's as bad as it gets. It'll get better. The only way it can get better is if... My dad came back home for good. You know, there's something about having your dad around that you... I'm sorry. You lost your dad when you were young, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm over it. Trust me. Really? You can just get over something like that? You find ways... I miss my dad so much. You must miss your dad. Do you remember anything about him? Not really. Really? You never heard stories about him? Like, maybe like what he was like? <laughs> what difference would it make? He's not here anymore. Do you ever, I don't know, talk to him? Like, if he was here right now, what would you say to him? I mean, no judge would ever sign off on this. He already has. Actually, you made it easy. All I had to do was prove how hazardous an environment this was. Yeah, and how would you do that? Oh, with photographs of this very room after... Why? After your party. Rissa. She took pictures. I had nothing to do with that party. No, but if I'm not mistaken, this is your home. This is the home that AJ would be brought up in. Is that right? The one that looked like a war zone in these photographs? Well, that's that a load of crap and you know it. Well, fortunately for your son, the judge decided that it's an unfit place for your son to grow up. 
You'll never get away with this. JR loves AJ. He's a wonderful father. Oh, and, and you could be a character witness at his trial. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad idea. You know, you wasted your time. You could have just had a messenger bring it over. And miss the look on your face. Get out of my house. No one will ever take my son from me. Isn't it a bitch when somebody takes away something that belongs to you? Yeah, you sent Eric over here, try to get something out of Annie, but there was nothing to get. You might think that you're onto some hot little secret to take back Cortland, but I got news for you. I bought that company from you fair and square. I own you. You own me? Yeah. <laughs> That's a laugh. Yeah, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Sorry to just drop by like this. We need to deal with this right now so there's no confusion. Confusion over what? My father's plan for my defense. He wants to create reasonable doubt by serving you up to the jury, planting it in their minds that you might have killed David. What? I tried to talk him out of it, but he won't listen to me. And I just caught him trying to call you behind my back. So let's just be clear. This is not what I want. Making you look guilty, that is his strategy. No, Greenlee, it's mine. It was my idea. I uh, proposed it to Jack. What? You're, you're going to go after the father of my child? Uh, uh, can we just not worry about me for a second? This is the best way to help you, Greenlee. Why isn't anyone listening to me? I'm the defendant. You work for me, this is not going to happen. I want to help you. This is the best chance I have to do that, okay? We can put an end to all of this. Why are you even fighting this? Are you seriously asking me that? Look, I'm telling you, this will work. Go ahead. Do it. I'll fire you. No. No, Greenlee, you won't. You're, you're trying to help me, and I just say, yeah, and I, I appreciate that. I really do. I'm, I'm serious, but firing your attorney a day before the trial, that's not a good idea. That's not smart, okay? Jackson, you put me on the stand. I will, I will be your dream witness. No, I came over here to kill this stupid idea. You know what happens if this turns back on you? Your kids suffer. Kendall hates me forever. I'm not living with that. Kendall, help me out. Leave me. This is not my call to make. Just think about how sweet it is when you hear the words not guilty. It'll be, it'll, it'll be done, okay? There's no reason to fight this. Really. Hey. You should go. I think that went well. I meant what I said. Do not do this. Look, I have some things to do. Why don't I put you in a cab? I'll let Erica know you're on your way, and we'll go over all this tomorrow morning, all right? Why bother? My opinion obviously means nothing. Caleb, I just want you to know that I decided to disregard your advice about talking to JR's employees. Asher is a very intense young man. And I think that there's a lot more to him than either one of us knows. Thinking. Let's see, what would I say to my dad? Maybe, where the hell have you been all my life? That's not funny. It wasn't meant to be. Look, if this is weird for you, we don't have to talk about Look, it. Look, honestly, I wouldn't know what to say to him. Well, maybe... You don't know what you would say to your dad, but I think I know what your dad would say to you. He would say, I'm really proud of you. Proud of me? For what? For one thing, you saved my life. You saved me a trip to Wild Wet. It's time we talked. Whatever it is, it can wait. 
Where did you go before? Can, can we just go in the study and talk? You know, nothing, nothing ever changes around here. You know, it's that, the lies and the backstabbing. It's, it's different players, but it's always the same game. And you and me, we were supposed to be better. I really thought we had a chance to, but none of us will ever have a chance as long as this thing stays buried. Scott, a crime was committed, and we covered it up. What crime? Palmer, and what was stolen from him. I think it's time I came clean.